So I know I, I just want to have a brief discussion with you, or it can be as long as we want. Um about the state of Dead Drop. There's been a lot of hype towards it lately. There's a new snapshot coming in March. There's a big Midnight Society meetup happening kind of in your neck of the woods. Um down in Texas. And I know I, you got to play it. So I, I'm personally curious what what you thought of it and you know what your experience because I've been playing it like every week for for months. So so I don't think I was able to play what you were playing, uh, but I got to play the vertical slice of just spawning or going up to the little tiny shooting range there mm -hmm. uh, and then walking out and like the helicopters and stuff coming out. Um, very different from like, it was the exact same uh, you know vertical slice that we got when we first saw the game. Um, and I was really, really like, really hyped for like what was happening like it mm -hmm. felt really authentic felt really genuine um my frame rate was atrocious but you know yeah. it's also like <laughs> not an optimized game so like what do you expect um but i was hitting around like 30 frames and the shooting felt really good the visually though i i could tell that they wanted to put more effort into the atmosphere mm -hmm. of knowing what the game you're playing is and it felt very uh uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of any immersive, maybe. Immer yeah, it was very immersive. Like it felt like I was in a actual '90s inspired, it's like future '80s inspired futuristic setting. Mm -hmm. Um, and it it screamed Doc 100. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I did get to uh, you know, play around in a much larger shooting range. We had like go around and like shoot the targets that are popping mm -hmm. up. Um, that was pretty cool. My the the gun itself, uh, I think it was a little bit like. Still definitely not in development. The the shooting, yeah, yeah, the sure. audio, it was pretty pretty rough. The audio uh, sounds I, are not there. Yeah, not at all. They're not all there, but majority of it, like with the rain effects and like the hell. Yeah, that was good. Was great. That's good. Yeah, the yeah. ambient sound is good. Yeah, it was really good, and I really liked it. Uh, but then I got to the next slice, which is the garage, where they <laughs> had that uh, had the Lamborghini or whatever the heck he whatever it is. At. Yeah, yeah, it's a it's a car. It's got wheels. Yeah. Um, gotten there it's unfinished but overall like a very immersive uh demonstration of like what it is that they're trying yeah. to accomplish so i liked it i um a i one of the things that i've liked about the game from the beginning is 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 that atmosphere there's no there's no multiplayer shooter on the market that is trying to capture like a cyberpunk futuristic cyberpunk universe like everything these days it seems for whatever reason is like it's like modern warfare. Like that's like, that's all we get is like current day um, modern combat. And you know, for a long time, we got tons of World War II shooters. And I'm not knocking those games, but I just think this this setting and like you said, they're really demonstrating like what they're going for. And I think that could be super unique and and it's very promising. Um, I don't know how much you got to play around with the movement, um, but the movement like is is already like very very good there's like sliding there's i don't think you can do all yeah, of it in the hideout that. there's yeah, not in the hideout there's sliding there's like you can hang from from rails and like shimmy across them and like there's zip lines already and um i i think that's what's really promising because like every extraction shooter right now is very like boots on the ground and most of them are cumbersome like like mm -hmm. like painstakingly you know like as yeah, you're walking along off. and uh, but most of them are like that um and i'm i'm really psyched that we're getting something that will allow for like and i'm not knocking tarkov but like it's gonna move the skill ceiling up it's gonna be like quicker paced and like mm -hmm. as doc would say more athletic you know allow for some <laughs> crazy um just it's more crazy plays and, and um i'm really looking forward to snapshot five and they they've pretty much hinted that they're going to let more players in um this year at some point like for good i don't know what they're going to do i don't know how they're going to go about that um but i i've for me it's been a really awesome part to be i it's one of those things i've said it before too where like a lot of gamers like looking at these like unfinished environments and they're like oh my god this looks like crap and i'm like yeah this is after six months of development on a game that's going to take like probably like four years minimum you know like yeah for me, it's been super exciting to get access to these things and then be able to test them, give my feedback, and like be actually be part of. It feels like I'm actually being a part of the development process. Yeah. 
man, there's there's this one guy on my Twitter. I just love him. He's I respect a lot of the things he says, but he he made one comment saying like he's he's like Doc's been like gassing this. This is supposed to look better than Call of Duty, and it was like the first snapshot. Yeah, he's like this looks nothing like that. He's like he's capping everyone for money and stuff like that. And I'm like, I, dude, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you're not caught up on any of like the details of this game's development. But yeah, this is like less than three months of work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they built this like literally almost overnight. Yeah. And I was like, whatever Doc is saying, like, it looks better than Call of Duty. Like, he's op- you're obviously misinterpreting, and he's not being clear enough of what he means. By yeah, that's true, better. too. He obviously has a lot of faith in the, what he wants, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, like, he's not going to say, oh, yeah, it looks like shit right now. It's not going to look as good as Call of Duty. Be, yeah, be, yeah. be prepared, guys. Like, who would even yeah, say the that? The Doc character would not say that. Yeah, ever. And I think right now, even just with the, with the, with the ambient vertical size that I had, like that looked better than Call of Duty to me. Mm. Like in terms of the direction, like the I'm atmosphere. Saying, yeah, and to all credit though, Call of Duty looks great. Like new Call of Duty game right now, like Modern Warfare. Uh, One of the Modern best Fair looking 2, games looked, out there. Yeah, I got phenomenal games. Like I don't think a lot. I was going through my settings on it because I moved everything over to my new hard drive, and um, I was like, oh, let me change my settings around. And if you actually look through like all the settings and stuff like that, this game Nuts. has. It's insane, and I'm just like, dude. The average Call of Duty player does not give a shit about any at all. Any of, oh, all of this no. at all. The like, average Call of Duty player plays it on what it runs on on their console. Like that's yeah. it. Like that's all they're ever gonna. And it, it, it looks it looks great. I'm not knocking it. Like, I'm just yeah. saying, like that's what the average person is gonna Batman see. Will literally run it on like low settings, so that way he can get better frames. That's what so I that do. Way he can see. Re- yeah, I do the exact same. Even even with Halo, I like turn everything off. I'm like, I don't want to be all. So I, I always turn off the Halo. same settings in every game, like ambient occlusion. I turn off immediately, like shadows. I turn off of any kind, like particle lighting. Yeah, volumetric lighting gone. Like even if I one of those on, I won't even get the full experience on my 1070. Yeah, <laughs> I'm surprised my game. I'm surprised Call of Duty runs 60 frames with my 1070. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm super psyched. The first Dead Drop tournament's this Friday. I'll be playing in it. And that's something that's promising for me, too, is like, I, I just absolutely love this the community. Like, it's so small and intimate right now. And like, I really appreciate games that obviously I want it to be a massive success on a, on a large scale. But I mean, I really love when you can be part of a gaming community that's so like positive and enthusiastic and like just like engaged in 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 the game. And mm-hmm. like, that's hard to find these days and that's one of the big reasons that i love splitgate is because i felt like i was like part of their community and the, the, the engage with developers and i genuinely loved the game you know so yeah that's what dead drop's been for me so far as a, a fun journey yeah no that's good i'm glad that things were shaping up very well too i feel like there's always some sort of drama that we always like hear about internally with like for just about literally any game right oh yeah and this one is such a transparent open conversation with like the with its yeah. backers with its yeah. founders and stuff like that which is great and i've only seen nothing but positive things the only people who have anything negative to say are those who aren't contributing anything yeah um and because they're only saying things that they don't understand which is understandable ignorance is bliss yeah I guess, in some well, cases. and when you contrast like for example x defiant is a game that i got to play this past weekend and I've actually I've been playing it for I played it off and on for like two years. It's that new Ubisoft game that mm-hmm. you know what it is, but it combines yeah. multiple Tom Clancy franchises without the Tom Clancy name. Um, and it, it it's not bad. They finally they finally took the NDA off it, which is which was a good a good thing to do. But that was my issue. It's like okay, they announced this game and they've been letting us play it for freaking years, and we've been en- under NDA. We can't speak about the game. Can't re- like. Like the channels for feedback are very, very, very limited. And it's been like that for years. And we still don't even know when the game's coming out. And to contrast that with what Midnight Society's doing, which is like everything's out in the open. Everything is a constant conversation. Like giving your feedback is like really easy on the surveys and stuff. And mm-hmm. uh, the developers are in the Discord. Like it's it's just, it's nice. No, no, that's good. How'd you like it, by the way? Like, like what? Uh, on X Defiant. Oh, um, 